And that here comes my part, but because to be honest, still there I'm a bit struggling because I'm not a technical, real technical expert, but now how we use it, that's rather my part. So what we can do with this oh shit uh, ahead of uh, the bus. I just give you a couple of examples. Maybe those are trivial for some of you, maybe not. But I have to say that when we go to a company or a firm or something and we try to help them how to use AI or even with these language models, they are quite surprised at what things can be done with these models. Even the simplest one can surprise them. So, and by the way, just from coming from the good old fashioned NLP world, uh, having some colleagues sitting, uh, as I see, who are coming from the, the same like information extraction, name identity extraction, yeah, document classification. Yeah. These were kind of uh, the disciplines that you were like well versed in when you was a, you were an NLP guy. And interesting will be how to see that basically our past kind of merged. Yeah, yeah. All the merges, and to be honest, now I a bit uh, regret that I I removed one slide from here. There was one slide about classic NLP tasks, without saying with what we do that. Just what are the tasks? And there were there was a big map of that. It yeah. was a cheat sheet or something. And there were at least fifty different kind of tasks. What can be done with the language model in general? Yeah. But maybe I will put it back to the presentation later on. But anyhow, some of them. This information extraction, how we find some in, in information in a certain text. For each, I gave you some example. It will be quite hard to read. Please ask if you cannot read it. I try to, let's say, uh, read for you what is on the, on the slide because I use the uh, ChatGPT or GPT-4 uh, in some cases to, to make some examples. So we are talking about information extraction which means that we try to get out some parts or some important elements of that uh, text. Here, I asked the model to extract the zip code from addresses. And without saying where the zip code is, in some cases it's in the, mid, in the beginning, some cases in the middle, some cases in the back, in the back or, the, or the last part of that, I just told that the address is given in Hungarian and these are four digit numeric values. So they, Easily. Another example, semantic classification. What that certain word or text mean? That, that's the question, and please classify that uh, text based on that. For example, I told tomorrow that I'm going to give you some words, and please classify them into predefined classes. That's important. In case of classification, we talk about predefined classes. Like here, clothes, shoes, others. And I, what we need to notice here that there was no need to say what is the common feature of clothes, how the shoes look like, what, what kind of things classified as shoes and what other things classified as not. And even I put there a, a category called others and putting here some examples like shirt, uh, socks, whatever. And it did well, the semantic classification, even for the uh, things like torch. It was easy to, to classify as others. Or belt, it was to the clothes. It is not on the, <coughs> on the screen now, but after that I asked ChatGPT why belt is in the clothes. And it explained why the model classified it to the clothes and not to the other things. And it was quite reasonable uh, explanation. Yes? This is already the GPT-4. Yep. It is GPT-4. Yep. Okay. If you buy the Pro version, you can use the GPT-4. Okay. And uh, you will see in some cases that it's not GPT-4, but 3.5. It was because I exceeded the limit. Because you have a limit <laughs> how many questions or how many runs you can. Pro. You, yep. Even with the Pro. 25 I mean, in 3 hours. In, ah, in, okay. in a certain time period. It's just not to overload the system, actually. So in some cases, you will see 3.5. Three if you see that, the reason is that I did something and I, I didn't want to wait for the four because it was okay with the, with the previous version as well. One thing to note here is that please kind of let us remind ourselves that in the good old days of doing NLP, it was like we didn't uh, define our task in text. So we defined our task in, say, having the probability distribution or something more rigorous. Here, the interesting point is that the paradigm shifted that the textual output itself 
we do parse as classification. Uh, this will lead to a phenomenon that I think you'll have talked about, is basically text is becoming the glue yeah. between tasks. So, Please don't destroy my last slide. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, what else we can do? We can analyze not only the semantic of uh, certain text, but also the, the sentiment of a certain uh, text. What does it mean? For example, if we have a lot of comments on our social media site or whatever, then we can ask the model to classify those, again, classify into predefined categories. It could be different as well, but I intentionally use this one, having predefined categories like positive, neutral, or negative, and giving some comments. And it could easily find which one is which. Later on, I will come back, but look at the structure as well. I ask the model to use the indexes, and use the words, and then the judgment about that. Interesting that, oh my god, it found it neutral, which is also right. lol. Uh, and lol as well. Uh, and the, the reason for that, again, if you ask the model, that these uh, phrases, let's say, could, could be used in cases of positive and negative as well. So uh, that's why the model said whether that is neutral. I feel like I've got a question here. Yep. Uh, just stop me. So, so just say and stop me. Don't okay. The my question is that are these like minimum viable prompts or do you have to... Uh, what does it mean minimum? I don't really know in this case. That, like, I mean it was not really engineered this prompt. It was really just a, like a flow text. The only thing I did is this marking. But here the marking didn't really, let's say, uh, affect the performance. It was rather for you to recognize that there is an index, there is a comment. But if I had just a simple sentence doing that, and I write all these uh, all these words just in a row, and having everything just in a row, it would have also been done easily. With this model, with the complex question, it's not so true. Then you need to be, uh, let's say, careful how you, you phrase the problem and how you structure it. For questions like this, it's so easy that it doesn't really matter. The only thing I, I did is just to let you read the, the things easily. Okay, I really like this phrase that no time to write it short. It's so frequent that happened that we have no time to write something short, which means that we have no time to read and summarize for someone else. Rather, we just put all the text there, and whether you read it or not, it's your, your problem. So what do we do then? We say that, okay, then uh, summarize. In this case, I asked the model to summarize uh, a song, a lyrics of a song, which is actually a Metallica song, who said that too. And I asked for, definitely, for a single sentence to do that. And later on, we will use that single sentence. It said that the song is about being careful, staying safe, obviously, which is okay. <laughs> 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 Literally two. <laughs> Later on you will see I did it, now on the screen it said the true, I did it for different metal the songs as well, and then we use that later on. Which is not said but true, but this is the enter yeah. sad man. Oh, the sorry, way. sorry, 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 you're right. It's the enter sad man, and that is I used. I, I did it for several, because I really enjoy that, to do that it's, it's the enter sad man, you're right. And that is what we, you will see later on. Yes, sorry for the mistake. <coughs> okay. Uh, what else we can do? Summarization, so we can shorten something. But sometimes the, the task is not to shorten something, but to somehow pump it up and say that, okay, we need some blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it can do also, and here you can see the, the, that part, because I asked to write the song, which title is Enter Sandman, and I put there the, the previous summarization. Based on that summarization, please do this. So actually, leave right, it's wrong. And it's not bad, actually. It's not there's forums. Even breach is there. Yeah. So, <laughs> I have a, one question is was it uh, in the same chat or it's reset between the two? Uh, these two, I mean, this one, yes. this one was intentionally in a different one. I intentionally in a different one. Intentionally in a different one, not to have that yeah, in context yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, relations and between How different them. was it if you did not give the title and the sentence? Because you told I me. Haven't, I haven't checked that. Yeah, but because actually, there are some very specific things for the Metallica song here. Yeah. Probably, maybe the Enter Sandman title triggered it. 
could be, yeah. but it was anyhow that in the style oh, of the famous band oh, okay. that okay. So it was anyhow you know, yeah. that it's, it's not because I want it to look like a oh, okay. song. The trick was here that the summary came from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got so he did the, the summary yeah. actually yeah. for that. Okay, but sometimes we need we, we need more than blah blah blah. We need something really meaningful but still long. Yeah. What could be that? Uh, for example, if you want an article about something, <laughs> then we just give the, the topic. And here the model we use not only the information which comes in the bundle, but is in the model uh, from the from the learning from that database which I showed you. Then the model tries to use that that knowledge as well. By the way, if you read later on, it's a quite good article about the new year of the of the AI, which is coming now. We see at least. Okay, it's good, but to be honest. How to use that? Because it's nice to play, but how to use that? I mean, in a in a structured way to do something useful, not just to do something to do something fun. I haven't seen that before. I just found it. Do you know what does it mean? Do it for you. Do it with you. Do it yourself. So now, until now, it was rather about talking about okay, if that model is there, someone else can do it for you. Even sometimes, okay, let us know what is your data and then we fine tune the model and then we do it with you. But now in these days, you can do it yourself. <laughs>